Today's youth need teachers, volunteers, and most of all, well, they need you. I'm Doug Edwards, and I'm going to be talking with real youth mentors and students to give you the knowledge you need to be the best youth worker possible. This is Youth Worker on Fire. Overnight success. Well, of course, that happens all the time, right? Aren't you an overnight success? Obviously, I must be. Hey, I have three children, and all of them have worked hard to be successful where they are. I have two boys and a girl, and that order of two boys is the oldest and one girl is the youngest. But we're talking about student ministry here. Now, I know in their lives, they had to work hard to get where they've got. They've all got families now. In student ministry, I was not an overnight success. In fact, I had no idea what I was doing. And I met some very successful people. And in talking to them about their careers, I know Dr. Jay Strack, you can listen to his story. He's got two episodes, an A and a B. And he tells what happened in his life to get him to student ministry and how the, the, the failures that happened on his way to being the greatness that he is now in Student Leadership University and Youth Pastor Summit, which hosts and and helps develop thousands and thousands of youth workers and youth pastors nationwide. I was out in California years ago when Doug Fields was the high school pastor for Saddleback Church, a very large church. At that time, they were around 25,000. They'd just gotten through with their 25th anniversary. They had to rent out Anaheim Stadium, Angels Baseball Stadium. Had about 40,000 people there. I came the week after. He had a a youth pastor's conference. And while talking to him, he was talking about they had 2,000 students in their student ministry. His youth worker, who I knew before I ever knew about Doug Fields, was there. His name is Jim Byrne. And Jim... He was known as an author, as a writer. He's a youth pastor. He was Doug Fields' youth pastor. So I had a great time in the short time that I was able to spend with Jim. And Doug talked about having 2,000 people in it, 2,000 high schoolers in his youth program. But he said, listen, percentage-wise, that's a low number compared to how many people are in our church. The average student ministry is twenty, no more than 20% of their church body. And that's usually the entire adolescent student ministry. And so if you're talking about a high school or a middle school or a college student ministry, and if it's 20% alone, then you're, you're doing amazingly well. And some people actually did better. There was a guy that uh, was out in California. I guess California is the place to do these things. Later, he moved to Chicago. His student ministry ended up being about half the size of the actual church ministry itself. But all these things took years and years and took different types of giftedness. Overnight success, there's no no such thing as that. But what I can tell you is that if you will work consistently at what you're doing and that you'll seek out people to help you in your weaknesses and also put people to do the things that you're weak at doing, then eventually you will become a success in the area of student ministry. The student ministry takes years to develop and to progress and to do those things. Youth for Christ taught us, because that was my main training, was Youth for Christ. And they told us, they said, listen, it will be five years before, you're, before you know what your ministry is doing. Five years is the beginning of your ministry. And at the end of those five years, you'll probably have someone or some ones start to tell you what you did for them over that five years of time. Sure enough, I had a kid by the name of Billy called me up in year five of my student ministry in Youth for Christ. And he said, I just want you to know, I've been out of the area for a while, but I came to know Jesus. I'm serving him now. I want you to know the things you told me at Campus Life Club, the things that you said to the group, I took to heart. I just wasn't willing to make a decision then. So guys, no overnight successes. It takes 
weeks and months and years. Some people will push the envelope faster and they will see some kind of results in the first year, the second year, the third year. That's amazing. But trust me, even if they move faster than you, it's year five, and most of them don't last to year five. Most of them don't last two years. And what they did was they made a splash, but they left the ministry that was developing. You stay faithful and become a success. Not the overnight success, but the people will say, man, he is an overnight success. Why? Because we've never heard of him till now. Look at all the things that are happening. And they look back and they go, he's been here 10 years. He's been here seven years or whatever number of years. Wow. I didn't know anything about it. That's right. (laughs) Because it's not an overnight success. Overnight successes take years and development. So keep at it. Don't forget to be diligent and being diligent will make you prosperous in your ministry. Don't look to the left or to the right. Keep your eyes on the goal ahead, on the road ahead that God has put you on and become an overnight success that took decades to get to. (laughs) Adios, guys. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to the Youth Worker on Fire podcast. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and tell your friends. Also, leave a comment and tell us what you think. Stay tuned for more informative episodes.